Azerbaijan Technological University, Department of Foreign Languages, Subject English Language, Senior Teacher Sadvaryana. Hello friends, how are you getting on? Now let's begin our lesson. Module 14. Theme Keeping in Touch. Alagedagalmak. Reading and translation the text. Getting in touch through the ages. Aserler boyu alagelerin sahlanılması. A grammar difference between past simple and present perfect. Keçmiş geri müeyyən və indiki bitmiş zamanların fərqi. Vocabulary, ways of communications, alaqələrin yolları. Present perfect, fiilin indiki bitmiş zaman forması. Keçmişdə qeyri-müəyyən bir vaxtda baş verən və nəticəsi indiki zamanla əlaqəli olan zaman formasıdır. İndiki bitmiş zaman to have feyli və keçmiş feyli sifət vasitəsi ilə düzəlir. Biz yeni informasiya verərkən bu zaman formasından istifadə edirik. Məsələn, Oh, I've cut my finger. Bu zaman formasında hərəkət keçmişdə nəticə isə indiki zamandadır. I have my, I have lost my keys. I can't open the door. Now, gone to ilə been to arasındakı fərq. He has gone to Rome, o hal-hazırda Romadadır. He has been to Rome, o hal-hazırda geri dönüb. İndiki bitmiş zaman just, already və yet sözləri ilə istifadə edilə bilər. Just dilimizə indicə kimi tərcümə olunur və təsdiq cümlələrdə köməkçi feyl ilə əsas feylin arasında istifadə edilir. Məsələn, she has just had lunch. O indicə nəhar etdi. Already dilimizə artıq kimi tərcümə olunur və təsdiq cümlələrdə köməkçi feyl ilə əsas feylin arasında istifadə edilir. Məsələn, he has already left. Yet dilimizə hələ kimi tərcümə olunur və inkar və sual cümlələrin sonunda işlədilir. Məsələn, has it stopped raining yet? Past simple. If we say exactly when an action happened in the past, we cannot use the present perfect. We use the past simple. Keçmişdə bir hadisənin nə vaxt baş verdiyini dəqiq söyləsək, past simple istifadə etməliyik. Məsələn, I tried to call you at about 3 o'clock. I found you, I found you yesterday. I found her yesterday. She was in bed all last weekend. These words show that the action is finished. Bu sözlər hərəkətin bitdiyini göstərir. We use past simple in questions with when. When olan sualda da past simple işlədilir. Məsələn, when did it happen? Present perfect, bitmiş zaman. İndiki bitmiş zaman. We use the present perfect with time periods that have not finished. Biz present perfect-i tamamlanmamış müddətlərlə istifadə edirik. Məsələn, have you spoken to mom this week? If we don't say when something happened, we often use the present perfect, especially with words like just, Recently, ever and never. Biz bir şeyin nə vaxt baş verdiyini söyləmiriksə, onda the present perfect istifadə edirik. Bu yaxınlarda heç, heç vaxt sözləri ilə. Məsələn, I've just passed my English test. 
Have you ever been to Rome? I've never been there before. Neticede demek istiyorum ki present perfect'te harekette ettiğimizi değeri past simple'da harekette ne zaman ettiğimizi değeri. Now students, uh, let's uh, write exercise 2, page 123. Use your mini dictionary to find the past participle of the verbs. Lose, forget, phone, pay, check, leave, receive, use, buy, take, keep, have. Now, students, check your exercise, please. Now, students, let's do the test. Choose the correct variant. I don't know what this is. I haven't eaten it. Answers before, already, never, always, just. The second. Choose the correct variant. Have you met anyone famous? Answers. Ever, yet, before, now, then. Third, choose the correct variant. I've seen Titanic, so I don't want to see it again. Already answers. Already, always, now, yet, before. The fourth test. Choose the correct variant. I've liked jazz. I prefer pop music. Answers. Never, already, just, before, ever. Choose the correct variant. Laura has wanted to be a musician. She loves playing music. Answers. Always, already, never, before, now. Think a little, please, and do the tests. Now, students, let's do exercise 2 on page 123. You have to listen and complete the sentences. I've spent about 30 hours on the internet so far this week. I haven't watched any TV so far this week. I've had three computers in my life so far. I haven't written any letters so far this year. I've read five books this week so far. Uh, now open your books on page 122. Let's read and translate uh, new words. Take a photo, send a photo, write a letter, write a note, make a phone call, call someone, send a card, send an email, receive an email, Post a letter, post a card, send a text message, get a text message, 
Leave a message. Check your messages. Now let's read and translate new words and word combinations. I agree. I am the same. I am completely different because personally I love the phone. She uses the internet a lot, but I never use it. She uses a lot, but I never. She uses the internet a lot, but I never use it. She never sends emails. He loves new things. He hates new things. He thinks, but I... He thinks computers are boring, but I love them. Exercise 2, page 120. Put these ways of communicating in order from the oldest to the newest. Words, email, the typewriter, text messages, pen and paper, the telephone, the postage stamp, the fax machine. Five hundred years ago, it took five months for the news of Christopher Columbus' arrival in America to reach Queen Isabella in Spain. Uh, 150 years ago, it took two weeks for news of President Lincoln's assassination in the USA to reach Europe. 150 il avvel abusta President Lincoln'ın öldürülmesi haberi Avropa'ya çatması için ki iki hafta çekti. In 1969, when Neil Armstrong first walked on the moon, it took just uh, one second for his words to reach the earth. Uh, 1969-cu ilde ilk dəfə ayda gəzəndə Neil Armstrong'un sözləri yer kürəsinə cəmi bir saniyə çatdı. Uh, now, students, uh, let's open our books on page 120, 121. Let's uh, begin uh, read a text, Getting in Touch Through the Ages. Nobody knows who wrote the first letter or when, but we know that 4,000 years ago in ancient Egypt people carried letters by hand over hundreds of kilometers. Very few people could write, so there were special people called scribes who wrote letters for everyone else. Əsrlər boyu əlaqələrin saxlanılması İlk məktubun kimi və nə vaxt yazdığını heç kim bilmir. Amma bilirik ki, 4000 il əvvəl qədim Misirdə İnsanlar yüzlərlə kilometr məsafədə məktubları ə, aparırdılar. Az adam yazmağı bacarırdı. Buna görə də ə, xüsusi adamlar var idi. Ə, xüsusi hər kəsə məktub yazan mirzə deyilən xüsusi insanlar var idi. In those days uh, you didn't need a stamp. Uh, the first stamp didn't appear until uh, 1840 and it cost just one penny. 
Nowadays, uh, one of these original stamps cost uh, 375 euro. Letter writing was so popular in the 1840s that they delivered the first several times a day. O vaxtlar ve hür lazım deyildi. İlk marka yalnız 1840-cı ildə ortaya çıxdı və cəmi bir qəpiyə başa gəlirdi. Bu orijinal marka, markalardan biri hal-hazırda 375 avrodur. Məktublar yazmaq 1840-cı illərdə o qədər məşhur idi ki, gün, ə, gündə bir neçə dəfə ə, poçt göndərirdilər. An American company, Remington and Sons, uh, made uh, the first typewriter in 1871. All the letters in the word typewriter were on the top line of the keyboard, so that salesmen could demonstrate the machine uh, more easily. Amazingly, the letters are still in the same place on the modern computer keyboard. American Remington and Sons şirkəti İlk yazı makinasını 1871-ci ildə yaratdı. Satıcılar maşını daha asan nümayiş etdirə bilməsi üçün makina sözünün bütün hərflərini klaviyaturanın başında yerləşdirdilər. Təccüblüdür ki, hərflər müasir kompüter klaviyaturasında eyni yerdə yerləşir. In 1876, when Alexander Graham Bell demonstrated a fantastic new invention called the tel telephone, nobody was very interested in it. The first uh, fax machine appeared at uh, around uh, the same time, but it was so enormous that no one wanted one. In fact, fax machines didn't become popular for 100 years. 1876-cı ildə Alexander Graham Bell tərəfindən telefon adalan fantastik yeni bir ixtira nümayiş etdirəndə ə, heç kim ə, maraqlanmadı. İlk fax maşını eyni vaxtda meydana çıxdı, amma o qədər, də böyük, o qədər böyük idi ki, heç kim onu istəmədi. 100 illər boyu fax maşınları məşhur olmadı. Uh, then there was a walkie-talkie, a small two-way radio first used uh, uh, by the U.S. Army in the 1930s. However, uh, since they weighed around uh, 13.5 kilos, the talking was perhaps easier than the walking. After World War II, they became popular with police officers. Before that, they had to use whistles to call for help. Sonra abış ordusu tərəfindən 1930-cu illərdə ilk dəfə istifadə olunan kiçik bir iki tərəfli radio stansiyası olmuşdu. Amma o təxminən 13 kilo yarım ağırlığında olduğu üçün danışmaq ə, gəzdirməkdən, onu gəzdirməkdən daha asandı idi. İkinci dünya müharibəsindən sonra polis əməkdaşları arasında məşhurlaşdı. Əvvəllər kömək çağırma üçün fitlərdən istifadə olunurdu. Nowadays, of course, we can send messages and pictures around the world in a few seconds uh, using computers and mobile phones. It's hard to believe that email was only invented in 1971 and the first text messages around the world every single day and an incredible 36 billion emails. Hal-hazırda əlbəttə ki, kompüter və mobil telefondan istifadə edərək bir neçə saniyə ərzində dünyaya mesaj və fotoşəkil göndərə bilirik. Elektron poçtun yalnız 1971-ci ildə icad etdiyinə inanmaq çətən olsa da, hər gün dünyada ilk mətin mesajlar, eləcə də inanılmaz sayda ə, məktublar elektron poçt vasitəsi ilə göndərilir.
Now students, please open your books on page 120. Let's uh, ask uh, and answer the questions. Uh, question A. How did people deliver letters in ancient Egypt? They carried letters by hand over hundreds of kilometers. B. How much did the first stamp cost? It cost just one penny. C. How often did they deliver letters in the 1840s? They delivered the post several times a day. D. How are the letters arranged on a modern computer keyboard? All the letters were on the top line of the keyboard. E. When did the first fax machine appear? It appeared at around 1876. Why was it difficult to walk with the first walkie-talkies? They weighed around 13.5 kilos. G. When was the first text message? In 1992. Uşaqlar, kitabın 126-cı səhifəsində çox maraqlı bir çalışma var. There is an interesting exercise on page number 126. Burada sualları verir və həm də cavablar verilir. Özünüzə uyğun cavabları seçə bilərsiniz. How often do you use your mobile? A. I use it all the time to call people to take photos for the Internet. It's an essential part of my life. B. I use it a lot. It's the main way I keep in touch with people. C. I use it for important calls when I'm out, but that's all. D. I don't have one. The second question. How do you feel about the phone? A. I really hate calling people. I wait for them to call me. My phone calls are short. I just say what I need to say. C. If I'm not busy, I enjoy long phone chats with my friends. D. I love my phone. I spend hours every day chatting. I couldn't live without it. The third question. How do you feel about computers? A. I love them. I spend a lot of my free time on the computer. Uh, it's my favorite way to relax. B. They are really uh, useful in my job, studies, etc. But I am not really interested in them. C. I use a computer sometimes, but I don't like them. D. I'm a bit frightened of computers. I don't. I don't know how to use one. The fourth question, what do you think about email? A. It's a fantastic way of keeping in touch with people you don't see very often. B. It's better than phoning because you don't need to talk uh, to the other person. C. It's okay for some situations but with friends. I prefer to phone. D. I never use it. The fifth question, how often do you use chat rooms on the internet? A. All the time. I love them. B. Quite often. C. I go into uh, them sometimes, but I'm not very interested, really. D. I've never been in a chat room. The sixth question, a new mobile, a new computer, with lots of new features appears in the shops. How do you feel? A. Excited. I want one now. B. I'll wait and see what other people say about them. C. Oh no, not something new to learn about. D. 
I don't pay any attention. I am not interested. The seventh question. How do you keep in touch with your friends? Put these in order of most to least important. A. Texting. B. Phone. C. Email. D. Letters. I prefer phone. And now students uh, write down uh, your homework, uh, you have to learn words and word combinations. Retell the text on page 120 and 121 and please write exercise 2 on page 122. Now our lesson is over, goodbye.